Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the third quarter growth in the US may be better than many expect. An American industry survey of new home builders showed confidence surged in September to its highest level in almost a year. And the good run of economic data has economists forecasting that the US third quarter growth will top 3% when it is first released next month. An interesting Reuters analysis says, while it's still a long shot, actually now would be a good time for Janet Yellen to have a surprise rate hike. The economics line up, they say, and it would do wonders for the Fred's credibility. Data out of China today is both encouraging and worrying in turns. Electricity consumption, long a preferred marker for what is happening in the real economy, and long showing much lower growth than the official measures, is up sharply in 2016 and matching official growth data now. On the other hand, China's real estate bubble shows no sign of moderating. This is the 17th straight increase and the biggest since January 2011. Observers are suggesting that it's grown so large now that it's too big to pop. And because state and local government agencies are so woven into these markets, the political will to unwind the froth is just not there. In Australia, there's been an embarrassing glitch on their stock exchange, which saw it open late and then have to close early due to technical issues. And also in Australia, the government has retained its inflation targeting mandate for the RBA, pretty much unchanged. In Europe, some practical realities are becoming apparent for London as a key financial centre, and they're not good for them. UK-based banks will lose the automatic right to trade in the EU when the UK leaves by losing their valuable passporting rights, forcing some of them to relocate from London. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is little changed again today at 1.69%. The oil price is also little changed, but if anything, marginally firmer, with the US benchmark price now just over $43 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just over $46 a barrel. The gold price is unchanged too, still at $1,306 an ounce, and the New Zealand dollar is just a touch higher today at 73 US cents. On the cross rates, it's at 96.8 Aussie cents and at 65.3 Euro cents. The TWI is now at 76.5. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.